my name is Leah. Welcome to another vlog. This week, I'm going to be finishing my revision of Project Shadows. Now, I'm sure you're like, Leah, didn't you just do that? Yes, this is a different revision that I'm working on. And wow, am I like shocked <laughs> at how quickly this has gone. Granted, I am being motivated by a deadline this time, but I think that the speed of my pace has a lot more to do with the fact that A, it's a second revision, so the draft is already in a cleaner state than it was for my first revision because the first one was draft zero to draft one. Draft zero is a whole hot mess. This one is draft one to draft two, and so there's already a very solid foundation there, and I'm not having to change like every single word like I was last revision, basically. And number two, my system of organizing all of the things that I need to do and accomplish, slash all of my beta reader notes that I got from my previous draft, which I went through my whole process for how I went about doing that in my last video. So if you want to check it out, go do that, except after you watch this vlog. So today is Friday, January 7th. I'm looking here because I have my laptop here. I'm currently finishing up chapter 30 of 35. So I have four more ch full chapters to write and then just the very end of this scene that I'm working on. And then I will be done with yet another revision for Project Shadows. The fun? question mark thing about this part of the revision is that I'm actually entering into new words territory which is strange because I'm rewriting the whole end. So this chapter 30 that I've been working on, a lot of the core of it was already there, so a lot of the same information that I was trying to get across is still there, but I'm kind of like reworking the scene into something else entirely, or the scenes plural. So it's like that murky middle ground between being new words and old words kind of mixed together. So it's kind of my transition chapter from revising brain into drafting brain. But the next five chapters are all new. They did not exist in the last draft. They somewhat existed in my draft zero because I'm kind of in this returning to what my original end was, I decided that it just works better for this book and for the series as a whole. But because it's my draft zero, it basically doesn't count as being written. And it's changed a lot from that anyways to be better than it was in draft zero. So that's the fun that you have to join me on this week. I'm expecting my pace to slow significantly because it's drafting and I'm a lot slower at drafting than I am at revising, but I'm hoping to be done with this by this upcoming Wednesday. So I have five days to get five chapters written, which is doable, I think. It's kind of stretching my drafting pace to the max, so let's not waste any time and jump into that. First though, today, I do actually need to edit a video because yesterday was supposed to be my YouTube day, except there were some technical difficulties. It happens. So I have to edit a video today and then, I will be jumping back into chapter 30. Hello again. Today is Monday. This weekend I didn't do a ton of writing. Wow, shocker. That's so crazy for me to not do writing on the weekends. But I did actually do a little bit of writing. I worked on chapter 32 and actually what I decided to do was do some rearranging and basically I think before I said I have 35 chapters now I have 36. There was one in my outline that I realized didn't have the content that it needed to to justify it being its own chapter. It was kind of just like a scene that I separated out as a chapter and at the same time there was some stuff that I wanted to add into chapter 31 that wasn't in the outline but felt like it needed to be in there but then like it was gonna make the pov switching really wonky and like unbalanced and so i figured it out we're good now i'm currently working on chapter three out of 36 so we have three full chapters to write and then this scene that i'm working on to finish i'm currently at drum roll 82,098 words. So I'm thinking, hmm, I'm probably gonna end up around 87. I'm gonna put my guess in at 87 right now. I'm getting to the point, and I'm starting to realize this is a theme in every single book that I write, where I hit act three and then suddenly I feel very unconfident in everything else I've written. <laughs> this draft has been interesting because it's the first draft that I've written where I haven't felt that until right now. Like the imposter syndrome is starting to hit me hard and I'm trying my best to just fight through it 
to just get to the end of the book because I need to and then I can go back and do an edit of Act 3 because Act 3 is pretty much all different from my previous draft and I think that's part of what's throwing me off is that I don't have a foundation, I don't have progress that I've seen in Act 3. Act 3 has kind of been waffling about as I try to figure out what I want to do with it and so it's definitely a concern for me but there's a reason I made this decision and I need to just stick to it and have faith in past Leah that she knew what she was talking about. Right now I don't feel like she knew what she was talking about, but I just need to have faith in her and just get to the end of this. This is the moment where I'm trying to think back to the feelings that I was having getting through the first half of the book because y'all, I was writing a high whenever I first started this revision. It was like the fa my favorite writing that I've ever done. And so if I had such strong feelings about it then, it means that that is still the case. And the last time this happened, when I was trying to finish my first revision of it, I also just got super discouraged in Act 3, set it aside, and then in September when I picked this book up again, I reread the stuff that I was like doubting, and I was like, that's not as bad as you think it is, which is what motivated me to finish the revision and start a second revision. I know future Leah is gonna be rereading this and be like, it's not as bad as you thought it was, like, you're being so dramatic right now. Okay, I lied. I split chapters again. Or I rearranged stuff. There's 37 chapters now. I'm not really adding anything. I just realized my switching between POVs was just really wonky right here because of the way I've established the POV switches as being contained within a chapter. I've simply had to just make two really short chapters back to back because there has to be a POV switch there. Like I was trying to write the scene that is chapter 34, I was trying to write it in Darren's point of view, but it, it just simply has to be in Elaine's point of view. But the thing before that, like has to be in Darren's point of view. I did what I could. It's 132 now. As with my update earlier, I still have three chapters to finish. We're getting close to the end. We're at 83,100 words now. I might be able to finish chapter 35 today. Not, not entirely sure, but we shall see. I was wanting all of these done by Wednesday though. Well, no Tuesday. Okay, yeah, I have to finish chapter 35 today. There's my answer. the revision okay project shadows is officially at 90,251 words which is a lot that's a lot of words to have written like I said I kind of refinagled all the chapters at the very end so now there are 37 chapters I'm like super excited to be done mainly because of that whole imposter syndrome that was creeping back up on me a little bit there it was a rough day yesterday for that but I went into today a little bit better in a better mood I feel like sleeping always helps with that. Makes you a little bit more rational when you wake up. So this morning I've been in a good headspace. It was starting to creep back in after lunchtime. It's like 2 p.m. right now, but thankfully I finished the draft before it could get too firm a hold on my brain. So we are done with Project Shadows draft number two, aka revision number two, aka it's actually a draft three, but yes. This vlog was supposed to be about rewriting the end, and I have some thoughts now that I have finished that process. I'm not sure I made the right decision, and yet at the same time I'm very glad that I've made this decision, I don't know, it's complicated. As I was outlining for this draft, I was very certain that this was the end that I needed to stick with. This was the end that I had for my draft zero, I changed it for draft one, and now for draft two, I'm back at that original ending, but like better because I've kind of revised it some. The thing is, as I was writing it, I was missing a lot of things from the other ending. And there's some personal stakes that are, are missing a little bit in this ending because of just the way that things are happening. And so I tried to infuse what goes on in this ending with 
the essence of those personal stakes like we're still getting the emotional arc of the character and the way that they're supposed to be coming into their own at the end that resolution it's just recontextualized and so it's happening in a bit of a different way the physical stakes like the external stakes are a lot bigger so i i think it does make the ending a bit more of a grand spectacle if that makes sense and my hope is that i was able to take some of those emotional stakes and tie those in to the big spectacle well and have it not just be here's the exciting end battle because you know in fantasy that's kind of the thing depending on the story there's usually some sort of fight at the end you have to confront the bad guys and I don't want it to be too generic because of that. Unfortunately, I do not have any tips for you right now if you are considering rewriting your end. I made this decision logically based on some plot stuff and where I want the series to go, but also sort of with my gut. And my gut has been flip-flopping between the two so much that I don't know how much I can trust my gut anymore. At least for this book in Act 3. For the most part, I think I can trust it. I think what I really need to do is just have people read both endings and just tell me what they think so that I can really nail in and dial in on what I want from this story. And that is not something that I can do in the time that I'm filming this vlog. So that will probably be something that I can talk about later, give you some tips on how to go about rewriting the end, how to know if you should rewrite the end, once I figure that out for myself, because right now I'm a little bit all over the place. So what are my plans for Project Shadows moving forward? Last time I finished a draft, I went and printed it out at Staples, which was super, super helpful in revising for that. I don't feel the need to do that this time, but as I get some more feedback on it, you know, depending on the level of feedback and what I need to change, that might be something that I do later on. For now though, I'm not gonna be printing it out. Sad face, I know. Right now, I plan to put Project Shadows away for a while just to kind of get some distance from it, again, especially from that Act 3. I do want to send it to some other people to read, but there's some things that I have to wait for in order to do that, which I will be able to talk about some of those things later, but for now, I'll just leave it at that. What I really, really want to do in the immediate future is some refilling the well activity. I feel very drained. The holiday season is incredibly busy. I know for everyone just because of everything that goes on during it, but also this is probably the most I've worked ever <laughs> during a holiday season. I was riding on vacation, like I was on the grind all through Christmas. <laughs> So I just kind of want to take a step back and take like at least a week to just kind of refill the well a little, a little bit, read a bunch of books. I bought Maggie Steve Otter's writing class and so I'm going to be taking that and filming that for you guys and just kind of take that how it goes. I don't want to make too many plans in the future just because I'm on, I'm on the edge of burnout right now and I don't want to make plans that don't make sense for me in the future right now. I will work on that during the little break that I'm gonna be taking from writing. But I do know at least that depending on how things play out in the next few weeks, I'm either going to be jumping into a new revision of Project Shadows or I'm going to be outlining slash drafting a new project, which both are very exciting. Drafting is intimidating me a little bit now because I feel like I've spent so long revising and then writing that end gave me a little taste of drafting again and I forgot just how nebulous drafting is. Like there's nothing on the page and you have to put something there. At least with revising, there's something on the page already that you just have to mold to be better. But those are my plans for Project Shadows so far. Let me know what you have been working on this month in January. I know some people on AuthorTube are participating in a Januarimo, if that is how you say it. I don't really know. But Nano in January, basically. So if you are doing that, let me know how it's going for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye!